Students have been gathering at campuses across the country in anticipation of the announcement. One of the best known institutions, the University of Cape Town, has already suspended classes in anticipation of student protests. Here at WITS in Johannesburg, student representatives have told us that they're expecting the worst since negotiations with the minister had failed. Students have been demanding that there be no fee increment. In fact, many of them want free tertiary education. For their part, universities want a 6% rise. The Department of Education say other campuses would otherwise be crippled. Last year, government froze the fees and found money to pay their universities. But South Africa's economy remains sluggish and there are other demands on the state's revenue. You're Lisa Njamela, CCTV in Johannesburg, South Africa. Well, let's get more now from Yolisa. She's joining me on the line from Witts University in Johannesburg. Yolisa, how are students reacting to that announcement, though? Is there any trouble on campus at the moment? Well, as we speak, they are running or moving in their numbers to the main gate of this campus. I can tell you that as soon as they heard the announcement where they had gathered in one of the big halls of uh, this campus, they declared a shutdown immediately. And as soon as they decided that, they went to um, around the campus to ensure that no one is moving around and nothing works as per normal at this university. The one issue that they would seem to have is that they divided across political lines the student um, politics movement. Each one of them wants to take leadership and be the ones who are in the forefront, and be the ones who are in the forefront of this movement. You remember the last time that how the vet movement, student movement, collapsed because each party wanted to take over. But the SRC has just told us that they're going to meet and chart a way forward. There's no trouble as such as we're standing here, but we can see that they're turning cars back. They do not want anything to happen as per normal in this university. We know that tomorrow they want to go to Pretoria to confront government, so to speak, to say they do not want any fee increment, otherwise there will be trouble in universities across the country. Right, you're Lisa and Jamela on the line there from Johannesburg.